Hey, the infamous Joel here just came back from CrossFit and I'm dying inside and outside, but that doesn't matter. Just give me the hashtag live, hashtag replay. Hello, infamous mobsters. How are you doing this morning? If you jump on here live, please tell me again, hashtag live, because I like talking to you live. I like seeing the comments. And even if you jump on here on the replay, that's okay. Leave comments. Tell me what you think, what you, what you heard. Reach out to me a messenger. We'll have a conversation because, hey. That's what I like to do. I like to reach out, like to connect, like to talk to people. And I wanted to talk about this particular subject today. I know this thing is all shaking around. It doesn't matter. Just check this out. So this subject that we're going to talk about today is the fear of failure. And I know a lot of you got it. I don't care how much denial you think you're in. There's a lot of days where you wake up in the morning and you say, oh, I got to get this done, this done, this done in your business, in your life, whatever it may be. I don't care if you're trying to lose weight. I don't care what it is. And you're putting it off right? You're putting it off. You're procrastinating. You're saying, well, in order to start my business, first, I got to get certified. First, I got to do this. First, I got to do that. First, let me watch this webinar. Let me follow the infamous Joel. Let me, I don't care what you think, right? You always put these firsts in your mind. You first need to do this. You need to do that, right? You put all these firsts in your mind and you keep on getting into this, this cycle of like, when am I going to actually get this done? It's like two weeks later is like this thing that you had in your mind. I'm going to get this done. Now it's two weeks later. You still haven't started it because you keep on procrastinating. You keep on putting all this other stuff ahead of it. First, I need, if I just, if I first just watch this or do this or finish this, then I'll have more confidence in order to do the next thing. And I'm here to tell you it's an illusion. It's not real. Okay. That's not a thing. That's not how it really works in reality. You might think that first you need ABC, okay? But what's really happening is you fear failure. And I'm here to teach you exactly how to trick your brain out of that and how to get things done, how to get shit done because you need to get shit done in order to reach that six, seven figures, eight figures, whatever you're trying to reach in your coaching business, okay? doesn't matter what your goal is. You have to destroy that fear of failure because if you have that, shit, you ain't going anywhere. I'm sorry to tell you. Because if you keep on putting stuff off, procrastinating, saying, I need this first, I need that first, never going to get anything done. So here's what's going on when you fear failure, okay? We're going to get into some, a little bit of woo-woo hippie bullshit. I don't really like doing that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. We're going to have to talk about some of it. Teresa's here. How you doing, Teresa? My girl, Teresa. She's amazing. So this is what's going on in your head, okay? This is what's... I'm going to try to draw here, and I'm going to show you the board. Uh, it's, we're going to see how this works, because here's the thing with these dumbass phones, right? The dumbass phones, they always put everything backwards when, when it's, like, recorded. So it's going to look like everything's backwards. I always think people are driving on the other side of their car somehow, but it's a stupid phone. Okay, so what's going on here? Woo-woo shit, okay? You have this consciousness, okay? Here's your consciousness. I'm going to put C there. Right. This is the only way that you experience this is a C. I know it's backwards, but this is the only way that you experience reality. The only way that you experience your life. OK. And you have all these thoughts, these squiggly lines of thoughts. OK. These squiggly lines of thoughts. That's your reality. The only way you can experience life is in your own head. OK. In your own head. Whatever thoughts are going on in there, that's real to you and only you and nobody else but you, not me, not nobody else. OK. This is your world. This is your world. You're going through life. You have your world. Okay. So what's happening when you're afraid of failure? What's happening when you're afraid of, okay, I'm going to start this business. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to, whatever the hell you're doing and you're, you're procrastinating. You're having all these other thoughts in your head. What's really happening is this. You're actually afraid of not the actual thing. You're not, you're not afraid of business. You're not afraid of, of exercise. You're not afraid of act, the actual thing. That thing is actually appealing to you, right? You're thinking, oh, God, I can't wait to start my business. or I can't wait to roll out my new course or whatever it is. You love the thing. What you're really afraid of is other people's judgment. You have person X, person Y, person Z, okay? I'm going to try to hold this steady. Person X, person Y, person Z, okay? And, and you're really afraid of what they will think about you. I know it doesn't seem like that, but because... When we get back to this, your consciousness, right? This is what's funny about the way the human brain works. It's fucked up, okay? Check this out. What you believe you are is really what you think other people think about you. I'm going to repeat that because it bears repeating. What you believe you are is what you think other people think about you. We actually get our identity from what we think other people perceive us as. You might be walking around thinking, 
oh, you know, my other people think I'm successful, so I'm probably successful. You know, you're looking for those feedback loops. If you're losing weight, if you've been exercising for a little while, you're waiting for people to tell you, hey, you've been shedding a few pounds. You, you're looking a little lighter there. You're looking skinnier. You're, you're using, losing weight in your neck, whatever. You like those feedback loops because that's telling you, hey, I'm on the right track. Other people think, you know, I'm doing good and all this stuff. You know, they're looking, you're looking for, you're starting a business. You're looking for, hey, I saw you do that live the other day. People tell me that. Saw you do that live the other day. You look great on camera. Yeah, I learned a lot from that. You know, it gives you those feedback loops. It's like, now I'm starting to think, okay, maybe I got this. Maybe, maybe I can, maybe I can actually succeed at business. You're looking for those. But in your mind, even before you do the thing, even before you start the business, even before all that, you already have this idea, this perception of what people think of you. Oh, I want to start a business, but my family, let's say right here, this, this, this person's like your family person or something like that. And you're thinking, you think, not them, you think that they think you're, you're an idiot, right? You're a loser. You're a loser. You're a loser. Where are you going to start a business? You're a loser. Let's just say that they really do think you're a loser. Okay. Let's just say they really do. Give me a comment in the comment section down below. If anybody in your family thinks you're a loser, they, they don't like you. They, they think you'll never amount to nothing. Okay. I can raise my hand. It happened to me many, many times. It's still happening to me. Okay. It's like, it's, you can't satisfy everybody. It's okay. You can't, it's okay. So let's just say they really do think you're a loser, right? Does that make it true? That's the question. Does that make that true? Just because they think you're a loser, does that make it true? Because here's the thing. They think you're a loser, right? Right? They think you're a loser. But remember, the only thing that's real is what you think. That's the only thing that's real. So as long as you think that they think you're a loser, that doesn't matter. What matters is what you believe. What matters is what you believe. Do you believe their opinion? Do you trust their opinion? Do you take their opinion? Right? Do you say, well, maybe you're right. Maybe I am a loser. You're fucked. I'm just here to tell you, you're, you're screwed. Because if you take their opinion about you and internalize it, you will start acting like a loser. You will start thinking like a loser. You believe it. Okay? Person Y, maybe they think, maybe they think, uh, maybe they think you're, I don't know, you're great. I don't know. Let's just put great here. They've been watching you do Facebook lives. Let's say, let's do the business context. They've been watching you do Facebook lives. They got some, some content that you created. They've been watching you on YouTube. They've been uh, uh, consuming your course or whatever you got going on. And they come to you and they think you're great, right? They think you're great. So this is good, right? This gives us that feedback loop, right? So they come to you and they say, man, you're great. I watched your thing. You're, you're amazing. You're great, right? But again, even if, even if you like this, and I know a lot of people like this, even if that's the case, you like this, who cares? Does that make it true? Does that make it true that you're great? No, because all that matters is what you think. The only thing that that is true is what the fuck you think. That's it. So let's say that person Z, let's get really extreme with this shit. Let's say that person Z thinks that you're a penguin. Okay? Let's just let's go let's go out of, all the way out of bounds just to show you how ridiculous this is. Person Z thinks you're a penguin. Uh, you know, maybe they they take pills or something. I don't know what's going on with them. But they're like, "Man, Joel, I think he's a penguin. I saw him do a Facebook live the other day." He might look like a human being, but underneath that human being mask, he's a penguin, man. He starts a conspiracy theory or something going on, but he believes I'm a penguin. Now, should I care about that? No, because I know it's not true. Inside my consciousness, I know it's not true. Okay? That's, that's just ridiculous, okay? It's, it's just an extreme point to point out. Look, if you go on like IG, right? Instagram for all you older people, right? If you go on like Instagram and you see... Like the ugliest woman you've ever seen in your life. And she's on there, you know, wearing this like bikini. And she's like, I'm so sexy and all that stuff. What's going on with her? Why the hell is she like that? This is what's going on with her. This is what's going on with her. Inside her head, she could care less what all these other people think. She's totally convinced she is gorgeous. She is totally convinced. And you see the same thing with like, I don't know, the Kardashians. A majority of people can't stand them. And as soon as they turn their back, you know, everybody's saying the Kardashians are idiots, they're stupid, they're plastic, whatever. But in their head, I'm great. I'm going to keep posting. Everybody loves me. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Agree or disagree, it doesn't matter. What matters is what you think in your own head. So that is how you trick your brain. 
and to not being afraid of failure is because you have to tell yourself every time that you procrastinate, you put something off, you say, I'll do it tomorrow, uh, you know, whatever the hell you say to yourself and you never get anything done. You have to always remind yourself. You have to always remind yourself there is no failure. There's no such thing. There's no such thing. Even if I screw this up and everybody laughs at me, who cares? I'll do it again tomorrow. Who cares? None of it is true. It's true to them, but who are they? I don't, you know, <laughs> whatever. It doesn't matter. Just get it done. There is no better teacher than getting it done. Screw it up. I don't care. I've screwed it up a million times. Last year, right here in this group, I went into a supermarket. For those of you who are here from last year, I went into a supermarket and I did push-ups in the middle of the supermarket, in the middle of the aisle. I did push-ups just in the middle for no reason. I just went into an aisle and did push-ups with a bunch of people around me just to prove the point that they will look at me and then they'll carry on with the rest of their day. Didn't matter. It was goofy. It was stupid. I should have been judged and laughed at, but nobody cared. They went on with the rest of their day. So the good news for the day is as much as you think people care about what you do and you're afraid of judgment and you're afraid of failure and you're afraid of all these things, they really don't care. You know, inside your own head, in your own world, everything seems so much bigger than it really is. Oh, I got to do this, oh, this webinar, this video, this, this, this post, this, all that, whatever it is that you're planning on doing. And you, you make it such a big, enormous thing, some, some event in your head. And it's really not that big. It really doesn't matter at the end of the day. So I want you to take that lesson to heart and, and remember that your business is being built piece by piece. Just get it done. Whatever it is that's in front of you, get it done. You know, it's behind you. It's done. Moving on to the next thing. That's how you build a business. Quickly. Let's go. Efficiently. Let's move. I'm the infamous Joel, and I'm out.